So how did you get involved in triple jump? I got involved in the triple jump through school. Um, my brother was good at triple jump, so my teachers thought it would be a good idea to select me for the school team. Um, from year eight, I started to progress and I really enjoyed it, so I kept going with it. Okay, and so from a technical point of view, what do you think you need to work on the most? Um, I'm trying to work on uh, making a seamless transition from um, run to takeoff. I tend to kind of overstride in the last two last two strides, so I'm trying to um, make that part of my run up kind of effortless um, and run off the board a bit more fluid. Um, and I think if I can do that, then I'm going to jump jump something pretty big. Mm -hmm. Are there any triple jumpers out there that you look up to or inspire you? Um, certainly, I look up to Teddy Tamago a lot. Um, he's he's come back from from injuries um, and other things, and and I really his I guess his his determination to not only come back but um, achieve excellence really inspires me, and that's motivated me through through injuries and other things I've gone through my career. So, what type of training do you need to do for triple jump? Um, I mean, the triple jump really is, is one of the hardest events. You've got to do a lot of different types of training, different different things to become a complete triple jumper. Um, I do weight sessions, um, and in those weight sessions, more recently I've been trying to become a bit more reactive. Obviously you need strength, but it's got to be relative to the triple jump. Um, you, it's very different to just going to a weight room and, and just doing arm curls, for example. You've got to make sure that everything you're doing is stays relevant. Um, to the event. Um, I do a lot of speed work on the track um, to make sure that I'm efficient as possible in my 40 to 50 meter approach. I um, also do a lot of hall work because um, you don't want any um, forces moving you sideways. You want everything going forwards. What are your aims for the season? My aim for the season is ultimately qualify for the Olympic Games. Um, I certainly feel that I have the capabilities um, definitely the physical capabilities that I just need to put that, combine that with the technical aspects and I believe I'll be there in, in Rio. And you're out for warm weather training in Portugal at the moment, what's, what's been good about that? Obviously great, the, the weather here, I heard it was snowing as soon as I got here in England so the weather's been great. Um, it's really been good to just be able to focus on technique and kind of um, ingrain some things um, in my mind. Um, for example, yesterday I had, we had a technical session in the morning and I didn't, I didn't jump great, but what I did was I looked at film when I got back to the room and came back in the evening and was able to correct things. And I think those are the kind of benefits you get from warm weather training, um, the kind of cognitive benefits because you can, you can focus on different aspects, um, go away and do it again and it, it kind of just ingrains it a bit more. Um, a kind of competitive revision for an exam. You're just going over it and making sure that it's it's just, I guess, like second nature. Mm -hmm.